Welcome back to another TS Terra Plays Terra video. Today's video, I'm going to be going over how I use controller on PC Terra. Now, at the start of this video, I do want to show how Terra console works. And you can see that I am toggling between three bars with left button, left trigger, and neither of them. And now, if you know anything about Terra PC, it's not as smooth as this. But with the program REWASD, you can make it as smooth as I'm playing the game on console, but on PC. So now I want to show you how my PC bar and how my console bar look very similar. The bottom section of the screen you can see is actually my console bar from earlier. And the top section you can see is my PC bar. PC does not technically have three bars. But you can do what I did here, and that is taking your left and right side trays, making them the same size as your main tray, smashing it all together to act as if you have three bars just like Terra Console. Now you might be asking me, doesn't PC have controller support? And it does. As I mentioned earlier, it's just not as smooth. And the issue is that even though there is an option for controller, it does not allow you access to the side left and right bars. And this is why I fully suggest downloading and using REWASD, allowing you to map your controller to your full keyboard, allowing you full access to all of the options in the game. And here you can actually see me demonstrating how I utilize controller that I'm able to move around with my joysticks. I'm able to look around with my joysticks, which this is a huge factor for me because trying to use WASD to move around was just so awkward and using the mouse to look was so weird. You can also use left button and left trigger to switch trays. And that's what I'm doing here. And in Terra itself on the PC version, it actually wants you to use left button and right button if you use the controller loadout. But if you turn that off and map your controller to your keyboard, you can bypass that whole issue. Now. This is where the real magic happens, and that is inside the program REWASD. And yes, when I said you can map your full controller to your keyboard, I meant it. You can see everything on my controller, except for my right joystick, is mapped to something on my keyboard. Now, I personally chose to not map my right joystick, and that's because I do run still a dual setup inside of Terra PC, and that's because the right joystick is the only thing that's active. Everything else being mapped is completely fine. And the really cool thing is, that inside REWASC, you can map your right button and your left trigger or whatever you want to be as trays. And that's what makes this program allow Terra PC to feel just like console. Being able to map these trays is so great because that's something that you can't really do in Terra PC. So this allows me to do everything. But there's a few things to note. The only warning I'll give you is that when you are choosing to map your buttons, you must remember what buttons go to what key on your keyboard because when you go into Terra PC settings, you're going to have to memorize that. So now, as you saw, basically here is my Valky Tech setup. Here is all my skills and I have memorized what buttons are going to where. Within that, the other very important thing is to know that when you're doing your trays, you have to make sure you learn what buttons are allowed to be doubled inside of Terra PC. And that is control and left shift. Both left control and left shift, you will have to remember which one you use because Terra understands the difference between left and right, and so does REWASD. But I'll explain more of that when we go into the tutorial of actually setting up the program itself to map your controller into the keyboard. Now, I do want to point out two things at this point in the video, and that is if you are looking at my skill bar and you are from console, you'll notice the interact and jump spaces 
are empty and that's because those options are in the game i do have it set up to be my a button like normal for me but for the keyboard it's i believe eight and control e and that is because they are just not considered skills in the game but they are in the game throughout the option select as you can see this also brings me to my next point where you will still need to possibly use your keyboard a bit for going into things like if you want to check the vanguards or if you want to look at your profile and upgrading gear. I will highly suggest that using keyboard and mouse is smoother for all of that. But for actual combat, the controller works perfectly. Before we get into setting up REWSD, I do want to thank them so much for sponsoring this video and for partnering with me. So now at that starting screen, you can set up your controller for multiple different games. I just picked xCloud and then at the top left, you can select multiple different configurations if you want to change your controller layout. Now, to actually set up your controller, as you can see, I am pressing these buttons on the controller and it is activating. Then you want to go and select whatever key on the keyboard you want it to be. So for the joystick, you saw I moved the joystick, I picked WASD in the selection, and now that will act as if I'm pressing WAS or D on the keyboard. I select the next button, and then I select the button on the keyboard. It's very important to pick the button exactly you want. Just there, you saw that I picked number pad 1. That would not work in Terra PC with my setup, because I actually picked number 1 at the top. This is where it's very important to make sure whatever button you pick on your keyboard, you pick in game. And I personally just want to stay away from the number pad keys. And from here, I'm just setting up all my controller's buttons to be whatever key I want them to be on my keyboard. The next thing to understand is how trays work in the program and in Terra. If you're using a 2 bar system, you'll only need to set up one tray, but if you're using a 3 bar system like myself, you'll need to set up two trays. As you can see, any button on your controller can actually be set up to be a tray, but I personally like using the left button and left trigger. Once you know what button or buttons you want to activate your trays, you'll need to select it and then hit shift mode as this turns that button into the tray. You will need to assign it to a tray number as the program will let you have up to 4 trays per configuration. You will also need to select whether if you want the tray to be a hold or toggle. I personally prefer hold as this feels more like Terra style. And then finally, you'll need to select whatever button you want it to activate on your keyboard. And now that we have our first tray set up, if you want to set up a second tray, it's the same process. The only thing you'll have to do extra is go up to the top middle, hit add a new tray layer, and then you can add tray 2 to the next button. Is going inside the program's tray and remapping all your buttons to the keyboard again. I personally did not have to do this because Terra took care of it somehow and it works fine without being remapped. I have one friend that apparently had to do that. And the final steps to have a working controller is to sign in the bottom left, hit the magical wand. This is just to make sure that if you're using an Xbox controller, you select Xbox, PlayStation, so forth, and then hit that power button. I want to thank REWAC one last time for sponsoring this video. Y'all are amazing. If you're a console Terra player that wants to check out PC, I highly suggest checking out this program. And if you really want, you can go in the description of this video and click on my affiliate links, as this will help support me in making even more content. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. That's about it. Hope to see you online, gamers.